Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Robotic Motor Services. Today we're going to look at the batteries in the current models of the Husqvarna automowers. And if you've had any of your automowers apart, uh, some of the older 400 series and uh, the 300 series, the 310, 315, even the 315X, then you've probably seen these batteries here. This black one, this is what came in the original 310s, 315s, and 315X models. It was a lithium ion battery pack, and this was rated at 18 and a half volts and 2.1 amp hours. These blue ones, you had one in the 430X and you had two in the 450X. They also used these in the 420 and I believe in the 330 as well. I uh, didn't really have any of them here in North America, but um, you know they were pretty common over in, in Europe. So anyway, back to the topic here. These blue battery packs, they say right on them, 18 volts and 5.2 amp hours. And they were what you would see, as I said, in the automowers up until 2019. That's when things began to change. And they went away from this style battery to these encapsulated battery packs with an actual hard casing on them. It's a lithium-ion battery pack. Um, these, these were put in to the high cut mowers basically from day one they all came through with these and then they started um, putting them into the 450x and the 430x as they went now the big difference here is these batteries in the ipl it says that they're rated at at 5.2 amp hours but on the battery itself it actually says five amp hours so not sure what that's going to make that big of a difference in your runtime but it was worth noting because it is a discrepancy there uh, in the parts listing. And some people have have uh, pointed that out and questioned it. So there's the uh, the old one. You can see 5.2 amp hours there. It's now in the uh, the 450X, just like the old ones where you had the, the two blue battery packs, you have the two new encapsulated packs in there. The 430X has one. Uh, 2020, they started putting the, uh, encapsulated style battery packs in the 300 series in place of these lithium ion battery packs that were just wrapped up. So these, these style, um, batteries are in the, the new 300 series and they are also in the 115 H's. They came through from the start with them. And this is what you would find in your all wheel drive mowers too, because they were built in 2020. So Everything in the 2020 lineup has the encapsulated style batteries in it now. Now, the big thing with these is, as you can see on these other battery packs, you have your, your wiring harness right there. So this would go into the mower and then plug directly into the motherboard. When you order in one of these new encapsulated style batteries, this is what you get. You get the encapsulated battery and that's it. There's a separate harness with a separate part number that plugs into the battery and then plugs into the motherboard on the mower. These batteries sit in a little bit different style um, holder or cradle inside the mower. I don't know about the ones on the 300 series yet because we haven't taken one of them apart with this in there, but you can look at it and you can basically tell that it's gonna be a different style cradle assembly in there to, uh, to be able to hold an encapsulated battery rather than this battery pack here. So that's about it. Um, this does have a, uh, a battery management system circuit board on there. So like with these, you probably, if you found out the hard way, if you tried to order one of these aftermarket and you plugged it in and your mower didn't recognize it, there was a circuit board in these as well that communicated with the circuit boards in the auto mower saying that, hey, this is a Husqvarna battery pack and the other one you bought is not, so it won't work. These have that in there, so you can't just put random batteries in the mower. You have to use the Husqvarna brand batteries for in your auto mower. So that's going to wrap up our look here at the batteries you'll find in the auto mowers out here in North America. Now, again, because you're going into a dealer and you're buying a brand new auto mower, yeah, it's brand new. It's never been sold. It's brand new to you. Um, it's a brand new unit off the shelf. But, you know, it's 2020. It could be a 2019 auto mower very easily. It uh, could possibly be a 2018 serial number. So if you're buying a, a 300 series auto mower, you need to look at that serial number when you go to replace the battery 
because it could have this one in it if it was before 2020. You know, you don't have to take the mower apart to know that that's going to have this style battery in it when you know it's a 2018 or a 2019 or even earlier model of 300 series mower. The high cuts, you know for sure they're going to have this style battery in it. The all-wheel drives, you know for sure are going to have this style in it. You know that the 115H is going to have this style in it. So not a whole lot of gray area there. The real gray area would come with the 450X and the 430X because it was kind of a running change on those um, in 2019 where you started seeing them pop up. And in 2020, for sure, they went to these. But 2019 was that year where it could be a little bit of either or. So, you know, if you have a 2018, 2017, or 2016 450X or 430X, you've definitely got these in there. If you have a 2020 430X or 450X, you got these in there. So it gives you a pretty good idea. That, that way you don't have to rip the mower apart. If you need a battery, you can let it out there and let it keep mowing. If, if it's just a matter of getting a shorter run time and you know that battery needs replaced, let it mow while you get one of these picked up from your dealer or they have to order one in or whatever and then rip the mower apart rather than have it sitting there in pieces waiting for a battery. So hopefully that helps you out there. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the video. You can also shoot us an email at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. You know, we'll try to help answer any questions we can to uh, help you get the best performance out of your mower and and get it set up right and, you know, get your money's worth out of these machines. This is a it's a big investment till you pay for the mower and the installation. You know, we want to make sure that, that people are happy with what they're getting, whether it's something we sold to them or somebody else did. Now, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. That way you can catch all of our new videos as we put them out. And you can learn what's going on with Automower and pick up a few tips and tricks here and there along the way. And, you know, stay in the loop with everything Automower. Get it? That's a little Automower humor there. Stay in the loop. So we appreciate all the, uh, all the feedback we get from you guys. We appreciate all the support. Uh, we thank yous for watching, and that's going to do it for me. I've got to go put all these batteries back in mowers I've got sitting around here. All right, see you later.